Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Toonkind at 12 FPS. Uh, this is uh, an FPS taking place um, during the uh, week-long beach trip uh, uh, introduced in the Toonkind game Beach Breather. Um, so quite a few, um, uh, a, a big old party of people um, are down at the beach for a while, and uh, while there's a lot to do at the beach, sometimes it's nice to just chill and not really anything. So, um, I, uh, for this FPS, I, well, not just for this FPS, but in general, I am oatmeal, uh, and I will be playing the professor. Uh, and we, uh, also have... Huge. Hi. Hi. I'm Avi. I was waving. <laughs> I was waving at my computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, I am playing uh, your local real kind idiot thief boy, Arata Satomi. He's here. Yeah. Also, if he might make an appearance, Genie is also somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, so Arata has uh, wanted to kind of catch up with the professor because, like, it's been a bit since they like. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's been a hot minute since they had a little one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. So they're they're probably taking a walk down the boardwalk. Uh, probably. Uh, mm -hmm. at the very least, Arata's, uh, taking some time to, like, explore a little bit more. Uh, mm -hmm. and if, and if Pro Prof isn't, like, with him, uh, he's just looking around. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, Professor would come with. He, he doesn't, um, uh, have anything in particular to do, and, uh, he wants to see what kind of stuff there is. Just, just two dudes going on a walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice out. Uh, it's not too hot. Yeah, and actually, I think uh, probably breaking the silence because Arata is in fact the silent protag. <laughs> <laughs> he he goes it really is a nice beach I'm glad you think so <laughs> how'd you say you find this place? oh um my friend uh, Macy said uh, well I know she had a, a beach house and she said it was quite nice and I mentioned trying I mentioned that I was trying to uh, figure out somewhere I could take people that wouldn't um, lead to any sort of misadventures, hopefully. Well, I mean, we haven't found a misadventure here yet, so I figure we're good for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the way she described it was uh, was quite nice, so uh, I'm happy to find that it is really very nice here. Yeah. Have you been uh, enjoying yourself so far? Oh, yeah, definitely. A lot, <laughs> arguably a lot better than the last time I was at a beach. <laughs> Yeah? Did something happen? That was when I was still in Yeddo. <laughs> um, mm. uh, something probably happened. <laughs> I got... Well, my friends and I ended up getting chased 
down by an uh, angry mob that was trying to kill um, us? <laughs> of course, of course. Normal <laughs> beach thing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the ordinary beach mob. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad that this is a little more low-key. <laughs> Have you been doing all right? Yes, I've, um, it's been, uh, a little difficult, um, uh, you know I don't really like being stuck in any one place for very long. Um, so having the ellipsis grounded has been um, uh, stressful, but I've uh, been able to sort of cope well enough as long as I... Uh, take a lot of time to uh, take trips out and see different things, do different things. Uh, mm. It helps a lot. It does mean that I spend less time actually fixing the ellipsis, which is a bit frustrating, but... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I, I, um... I know I'm not, um, really the most, uh, mechanically savvy, <laughs> but if there's anything you ever need help with, you, uh, let me know. Thanks. I will. Is, is she doing all right? She's, she's doing okay. It's, uh, just sort of replacing things that got burnt out. They were uh, maybe not in the best shape to begin with and just kind of ran a few systems into the ground. Um, so I'm hoping after this, I shouldn't, as long as I don't do anything too crazy, uh, I shouldn't. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> well, I just come on. I I mean I mean like trying to like untie a paradox from the outside. Something absurd. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I'm hoping that after this this round of repairs, I. Uh, shouldn't have to do more than minor repairs for a good while. It's um, one of those things where, like, since you're in there already, you might as well fix the other thing next to it. Mm. Um, so we got maybe a little more involved than it needed to, but... Oh well. I'm I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. That's still a while. Y yeah, <laughs> it is. Arata <laughs> <laughs> handed me like several things to say at once. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, buddy, we're not saying that. We're also not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just gonna be like, you sure you don't need any help, like, now? Like, even with just, like, finding stuff? Um. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe some of the... Maybe I should, uh, <laughs> try to acquire some of the things I'll need later, sooner? That way I'll have later. Uh-huh. <laughs> he just kind of, like, 
he just kind of like uh pulls his hand through his hair like this this is not <laughs> this sort of planning is not my forte <laughs> You see, like, uh, I'm, I'm, like, imagining Jeannie is, like, on Arata's shoulders, you know, the way he does, and Jeannie just gives you, like, a <laughs> a knowing, like, knowingly smug look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, well, I, yeah, I can, I can probably afford, uh, make that go a little faster um maybe i'll uh put some uh some sort of request out for people to try and help find different materials and parts Because then I can finish the parts that I have to do by myself, and then once I do that, I can just call in uh, anyone I trust with uh, the ellipsis's mechanics, which is more people than I would have thought. Um, You're making friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always do that. Uh, it's, it's more that I, uh, oh, I don't know. I guess maybe things are different here than in Darth. At Darth, I was always paranoid about people trying to, uh, steal technology that was too advanced for their civilization, use it for... Uh, and, mm. less than savory things. exactly yeah no I get it um. but I don't it's not like that here not, not so much there are a lot of people I would distrust no. <laughs> uh, but it's uh less certainly less pressure on the front hmm. i mean it, at least in Nightquil, it feels like you don't have to like worry about it as much mm -hmm. um yeah but... it's odd but it's nice mm -hmm. Back back home, um, Idrika was always too nervous to talk about um, that cognitive science research, and I, I get mm. I get why, because her mom worked on it, and her mom was murdered for it, I guess. Right. But like, mm -hmm. you don't you don't want stuff like that getting in the wrong hands, and it was in the wrong hands for a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, as it is, I know uh, plenty of uh, wizards, artificers, people with just general mechanical knowledge that um, once I get through the parts that I have to do myself, it should be smoother. I'll have to partially teach people how to do certain things, but uh, and I'll ultimately be the one to have to put it together the right way but a lot of it's not not as difficult uh on a small scale as one might imagine for a uh a galaxy traversing time ship
<laughs> Sorry, I think that laughter is a character. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna say that about a, a time traveling phone box. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> it's not my fault she's a. F okay, it's kind of my fault she's a phone box. <laughs> She's not supposed to... I mean, it works, but... It's not supposed to be stuck like that. I don't know, I think it's charming. <laughs> I've grown rather fond of it myself. Um, when it first got stuck, I was mightily frustrated. supposed to supposed to blend in with your surroundings but like uh, invisibility or oh uh, not invisibility so much as um becoming something uh, around that size um that uh would wouldn't look out of place in the uh environment um over here you could do you could do a boardwalk kiosk or uh or a large sand castle or um a really impressive sand castle sorry Arana handed me something else that i can't have him say it because it's <laughs> such a dumb thing to say <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness in his head he is just like a mimic <laughs> <laughs> not wrong <laughs> hmm I mean, some some people some sometimes they can get really elaborate. The, the uh, some of the newer models you could um, essentially uh, make the exterior sort of kind of its own house. It's um, kind of strange the different things you could do. Stop handing me dumbass shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I know exactly what he's doing, and I'm just like, please, please, my my boy, my dumbass idiot boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, She's not gonna get jealous about talking over about uh talking about newer newer models, is she? No. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade her for anything. Alright. No. Besides, the new ones don't have any charm personality. <laughs> They're just sleek and zippy and obedient. I mean, yes, they're maybe a little more technically capable, but there's there's no pizzazz. There's no pizzazz. <laughs> they're 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 so predictable. It's, it's just not fun at all. He's a PG rated server, I can't have him say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I see where it's, where they're coming 
from was like um there's something that says uh i guess uh complex if that's the right word as a uh, as a time machine you don't want to be as precise as possible but even then well yes <laughs> Normally. Well, but I'm she, not. She's. Hmm? I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that is an insult. I like her a lot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're not, um, wrong. But you just sure try. Uh, did you, um, did you go to the beach much when you were young? Um, no, my, um, you kind of like. And rubs a hand against the back of his neck. The um, small town I lived in was uh, a couple hours away from any beach, mm. so I never could really go anywhere. Uh, hmm. It was, it was a tiny town. There was nothing to do there. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think I could live somewhere like that. <laughs> it... Not for more than three minutes. <laughs> I mean, uh, I got bored a lot as a kid. I kept trying to sneak out. <laughs> even even when I was like itty bitty. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to roll an insight? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that is a twelve. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to put this into words. Um, you know that thing that Arata mm. does. Mm. Where where he's trying to make light of something, but he's actually like um, kind of bothered uh. by it, but like not. He's trying to s say he's not bothered by it, but he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, Professor just like. Uh, like squints a little bit and cranes his neck to like look at Arata. Like it's obvious he he uh he thinks something is is up. Arata just kind of give him gives him a look it's like what? You weren't just bored. If you don't want to talk about it, that's all right. I... Mm. He does kind of flinch at that, but he's just... One hand rubbing out his arm, he's just... I, I don't, I don't know. It's, um, I mean, there's stammering like that for kind of a, a second before he just kind of mm -hmm. settles and says, um, I mean, there, there's a reason I didn't go back when my probation ended. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't just because they 
didn't support you about the case. I mean, it's kind of hard to go live somewhere where they never wanted you in the first place. Hmm. Hmm. I think he just, um, uh, he reaches over and like, uh, puts his hand on, uh, his opposite shoulder. He, um, He takes a deep breath and he says, um, I mean, it's, it's whatever. It happened years ago. I'm, <laughs> it's not like they're my parents anymore. No. No, you, you have better family now. It can still hurt, though. You're allowed to talk about it. I was actually thinking I, um, I met Lynn Stagehand. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, she made a offhand comment to, um, uh, another friend of mine, um, TOC, but it reminded me, um, Well, uh, I was considering, uh, gosh, a few years ago now, um, trying to recommend that you, uh, see a therapist, but I couldn't think of any to recommend. I didn't know any. Not any uh, local who I trusted at any rate, but Lynn, she would know. She has good contacts and I would trust her judgment on something like that. So, if you ever do want to, she would be a good person to ask for uh, recommendations. I... I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I... Sorry, I've um, mm -hmm. been been talking with been talking to Mars uh, Masaru for for a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I haven't told him about that exactly, mm -hmm. but like. I, uh, I'll, I'll talk to Omlin. Mm-hmm. All right. He can still be a friend you can fight in. I, 
if you want, but I mean, <clears throat> I'm saying you don't have to stop talking to him about things because you've got somebody else to talk to, you know? No, no, I, I, I know, it's, um... Mm -hmm. He is pretty close. Um, mm -hmm. And a, um, a fan of the spear rogues. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's, there's some things I can talk to him about, but I don't know if I can really tell anyone else, but. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. There's gotta be. There's got to be. He starts like looking. Uh, for a while, like, he hasn't been paying as much attention to, like, what's going on around you guys. Yeah. Um, but he starts, like, looking at the different shops, uh, just kind of scanning over them. There's got to be some kind of... I don't know. Um, uh, bait shop, fishing supply shop that would know what a good spot would be. You want to go fishing again? I think it would be nice. I haven't been surf fishing in ages. It's a little different. Rod is gonna look around. Should I, should I roll like perception or something? Sure. Alright. It's been so long since- oh god. It's been so long since I've played as here. Where's- what is your- what's your perception? <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nine. <laughs> Six is still really good. Um, yeah, nine. Uh, huh. Um, uh, it, I think you find one, but it, like, takes you guys a while. It, yeah. it might not be where you are. It might take a little bit of walking first. Um, but yeah, you, you find a shop. Yeah! Um, <laughs> um uh, I think the professor will ask about um, uh, kind of what the the local like surf fishing scene is like, and you know where you're allowed to do that and stuff. Yeah. Because obviously there are areas where you can't because that's where people swim or that's yeah. where people like scuba dive and stuff or you know. Yeah. There's there's people who live in the ocean. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but there there's there's like there's a there's a designated fishing fishing zone. Um Yeah. Yeah. And uh I think he probably uh picks up some some supplies. Maybe just rent some stuff. Um, do you want to go fishing right now or later? I'm down for whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, Professor seems to have found something that uh, he's actually interested in doing uh, yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> Arata literally handed me 
the 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 words. Look, I heard a uh, beach trip, and I'm here. I'm just here for the ride. Uh huh. <laughs> He's he down for whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, professor will get you guys like set up, and um. Uh. He's, he's like, he, when he's like going towards the, uh, the spot where you're allowed to fish, he's like visibly excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh. <laughs> GD in the background. Oh, he got really excited about this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Diagnosed old man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, he he wants to show uh, Arata the different like tips and tricks and like how it's different and uh, you know you have to work with the waves and like the the. You have to cast out really far because otherwise you're in just like a, a foot of water and you're not gonna find you, anything. Yeah. Right. You're not gonna find anything bigger than a minnow. Um but yeah. Yeah. It's it's very, <laughs> very different uh, from from fishing in the middle of the city. Yeah. Yeah. But like Arata Arata's like he's he's definitely down for this. I, I um he's uh <laughs> spend time with friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like a lot of it is just like chilling and waiting, so like you can still like chat and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Genie's probably like uh sitting perked up watching the lines as they're uh <laughs> as they're doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of anything else they would talk about. I mean if if they're gonna be in, in silence uh for a while. I think at mm -hmm. some point Arata's gonna break it again. Mm -hmm. Um and he says, um Can I ask you something? Mm hmm What do you think of um Yamazaki san? Hmm. He tilts his head a little bit. Well, uh, I don't suppose, I don't, I guess I haven't known her, uh, well, I haven't seen her a lot, but she seems, um, uh, enthusiastic, um, passionate about, um gymnastics uh hard worker uh, intelligent um he just kind of shrugs a little bit mm -hmm. i'm uh a little concerned because of what, what we saw at the Festival, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Has she been uh, all right lately? You would know better than I. He kind of he has like a bit of a face facial journey before. Uh, it's it's kind of like he grimaces. Mm. And then he puffs out his cheeks and lets it out in, like, a very long sigh. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and he says, I don't think she's doing too great. Um, mm. she had a, um, a meet before mm-hmm. she came, came here and, um, apparently she didn't do really well and her, uh-huh. um, her coach is telling her to take some time off to take a break and she's mm-hmm. really devastated by it. Uh, taking it as a blow rather than um, a probably healthy warranted recommendation. Mm-hmm. I see. It, um, I, w- I was talking to her about it and uh, it, it was something about the way her coach uh, worded it that um, mm. she she's not really sure about hmm. but like um i don't know i i think she i think she needed to come out here and uh hmm. you know the whole thing with with this and me i i think she needed that <laughs> good I think it's probably good for both of them to have a good friend in each other. Yeah, friend. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I, he, the boy said something about he thought they were dating but she didn't they're both stupid (laughs) (laughs) that that's that's the long and short of it they're both stupid (laughs) well i guess they're dating now in any case (laughs) the issue was that zumi doesn't act that way with anybody else and he thought that was obvious well not to the one person he's acting like that around exactly (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Yamazaki picked up none of it she would just think that that's how he acts <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> subtext is nice and all but sometimes you need to be a little more direct I don't know, but even then, I think I think Azumi's just relieved it's out in the open. I I think that's the right word for it, but I, I don't know. Hmm. Could be. Mm. Uh, even if he assumed they were dating, it doesn't sound like it was something he. Uh, maybe I expected other people to know. It wasn't something he was going around talking about, for sure. I mean... He Not hangs, that he's one he, to do that. He hangs out with, uh, with Leo and Camille. Mm. You know exactly what they're gonna do. That's true. Well, at least um, it's not, uh, he's on, um, I think, equal footing with them, more or less, uh, (laughs) considering they both have, um, uh, they both have uh, crouches of their own. Yeah, I guess. He kind of just lifts a hand and fidgets with the the fringe of his hair. Hmm. I hope this um, break is good for her. Yamazaki. 
I, I hope so too. Um, I'll, I'll be real. She's been having trouble with gymnastics for uh, a while now. Um, mm. She used to be an honor student mm -hmm. um, and was our high school um, star athlete. Um, mm -hmm. well, that's a difficult one to pull both of those. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't remember if I ever told you about this, but um, the Spear mm. Road's um, first... Uh, our, the the first target was this uh, PE teacher um, who mm. worked at our our school. Um, uh, he was um, he was a uh, he was a gold medalist uh, for um, something to do with volleyball. I think it was like on the national level. And mm. for a while, uh, he was the uh, the school's like champion. You know, come come to our mm. school because we got the best coach in in Okashima. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. uh, but because of it, uh, he would do a lot of pretty shitty stuff, and they would the mm -hmm. school would just look the other way. Uh, mm -hmm. But after after his change of heart you know he he confessed and everything mm. and um it was a big scandal and the sure the school was scrambling to find um a replacement i guess something something to to help them save face ah something else to focus on and um yamazaki-san was um the gymnastics club's um pick for for one of the um mm -hmm. the national meets mm -hmm. um and she uh she didn't i won't say she didn't do well because she did mm -hmm. she got second place mm -hmm. but second place is not first mm. is did she how to put this, did she do her best? Or was it uh, sub subpar for her particular ability? I, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. She didn't really talk about it much at the time. She was kind of um, distraught. Mm -hmm. um, not getting first was enough. It, it at at the time when she when she told me about it, she seemed happy that she got second. At least like she felt that she. It seemed like she felt she did really well. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I think something must have happened. Like someone must have talked to her. Uh, when, That's enough. It's. I don't know. I did. I didn't get to to see her for a while after that. Mm hmm. Um. Well, that's unfortunate because that is an accomplishment, and she should be able to feel good about it. Mm. Somebody. The vice principal was I think that's that's what the um the rumors were saying at least that um the vice principal was giving her special treatment oh you, you know I I was the delinquent um the delinquent transfer student i know mm -hmm. what it's like to be the subject of rumors especially when they mm -hmm. got, get out of hand mm -hmm. she didn't deserve that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a shame 
and it seems like uh, her troubles just sort of continued from there. Something like that, yeah. Mm. Um, I've been um, trying to help her out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to figure out how to put this into words, you know, in a way that isn't like too, too odd. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, I think he says, um, she told me that her coach said that she should probably take some time off to really find out who she is. Huh. Um, so, so we've been kind of like trying to ex you know, do stuff outside of gymnastics, see if she's mm. can pick up anything else to do alongside it. Mm -hmm. But um, sort of. Hmm? Uh. Uh. Sort of. Um. Expand your horizons. Yeah. Right, uh, self-discovery. Yes. Yeah. It, it can be nice to uh, just sort of try something different or new, and sometimes you come back to what you were doing before, but having explored, uh, it can lend it new uh, meaning or perspective. Uh, and if not, then you've found something new to either do alongside or instead, whatever the case may be. Yeah, and I... I, I, I think she's doing uh, uh, a lot better, uh, taking mm -hmm. some time off, but... Um... But, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a worrier, I'm gonna worry. <laughs> It's so hard to be a guy who just cares so much about <laughs> his friends. <laughs> oh. Well, you're a really good friend, and I am sure they appreciate uh, all the thought you put into things, like Like, um, bringing her along here and things like that. Yeah. Oh, and I have to say, I am, uh, very proud of you for how you, uh, handled, um, uh, Tome there, um, uh, giving him a nudge to, to talk to uh, Ari. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a hype man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I think you, uh, you, you handled it very well because he, he can be, um, Well, stubborn, but I, I think you must have uh, struck a balance between um, uh, convincing and 
insistent without uh, being too pushy. That's that's maybe where I uh, uh, sometimes fall with him. I, I mean, <laughs> all I really did was talk about my my experience with the with my boyfriend, you know. <laughs> mm. Because, <laughs> uh, God, I love him. He's dense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is, that. Lovely person, but oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad they're not still... Tome isn't still an absolute mess around him. Thank the gods. <laughs> I think I would lose my fucking mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, Narada just wants to gush about his boyfriend. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. I'm also kind of tempted to like roller survival or something. Mm, for the for the fishing. For fishing. Yeah. Baby fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Where is my oh, of course. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he got a three on the the fucking <laughs> on, uh -huh. on the on the perception. Guess what he got now? What did he get? I got a nat 20. So did Professor. <laughs> they both got a nat 20. That's so funny. Oh my god. Hang oh on. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Hang on. I'm pulling up GD stats. I gotta do something. <laughs> He's actually awake for this one. <laughs> Where are you? I, you know what? He's just gonna mm. go for it. Um, I feel like Arada's like pulled in uh, a fish. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them got got fi uh, got a fish on the line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Genie, who'd been staring at the lines intently, uh, makes a jump for the one that Arada got. <laughs> <laughs> that was a. What's your wisdom save? That was a. That was a nine. <laughs> oh yeah, no. He's 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 been waiting and and uh. Just sort of. Waiting to spring. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Hirata should have realized something because he was he was quiet the entire fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> but the genie fucking um springs right then and uh, I'm gonna Nope, that was a six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the right number. You know, that's right. Uh he misses the fish <laughs> and lands in the water. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> just, just from, from, from the waters, just there's just yowling. Genie. <laughs> got fucking got by the cat brain. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just gonna like <laughs> put this fish aside as he like tries to get Genie out of the water. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, wet, wet cat, sandy cat. <laughs> oh no! You're out of place, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> no, don't tell me not to tell anyone. This is going into cringe comp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
goodness. You don't have a towel, do you? Um, hmm. Uh, I have... Uh, I have a blanket. That'll probably work. I, I Why didn't have... I put a towel in here? <laughs> Does he? He does have prestidigitation, okay. Hmm. Just get Genie on the blanket for now, and he's just gonna <laughs> prestidigitate, yeah. but not before getting out his plot device <laughs> <laughs> and snapping a picture, and, and Genie's just like, Rada! And kind of like <laughs> lifts his paws trying to swap the... the the plot device out of his hands and he's just like holding it like way up above. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all right. For your uh, trouble, you can have the best part of the fish. Genie's just grumpy emoji. <laughs> just, uh, hang on. <laughs> just <laughs> that's not it. I can't. I can't do it because it doesn't look look well. But you know. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, I meant what I said. It's it's going in the cringe comp. <laughs> hmm. Wow, that was a uh, quite good for. Uh, well, first fish caught, and also for first time surf fishing. I am a fishing master. <laughs> Either that or very lucky. Maybe both. Maybe both. <laughs> Thank you, audience. He is the fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like Genie does that like thing where he like shakes out his fur for for a uh -huh. second, and he's just gonna it's just gonna pout right there. <laughs> <laughs> They're just good fishes. I'm, I'm gonna pass up the off. She's just making excuses for <laughs> goodness. <sighs> Oh, hmm. You know, we um uh tried some um let's see. We went fishing for uh a freshwater fish for um Azumi to try uh in a recipe. Mm -hmm. Um but we haven't got him any saltwater fish yet. Oh. Maybe he could try something at the house. Oh, definitely. Uh I don't know how he's gonna react to the fact that we just bring him fish for him to cook with. <laughs> um, has he ever told you the fillet story? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Um. So there was this one time, uh, I was talking to him at the uh, at the jazz gym. Mm. Um, we had just started to like get to get to know each other by then. Uh, mm -hmm. But he asks me about my living situation, and I told him that I lived in a cafe at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and he said something along the lines of um, how it must be nice that I just live on top of a cafe. Mm. Um, and he, I, I swear, he tells me this story uh, about how he once tried to fillet a fish. And it and it went poorly, his huh. words. 
<sighs> Good grief. And and ever since, apparently, he hasn't really tried much c- cooking since. And I have so many questions. How? Oh, oh my goodness. Like, like, first of all, flaying is very difficult. <laughs> like, right. like, that's very difficult to do. Why was he trying to do that if he couldn't, if he wasn't? I don't, that's one of the questions I have. Also, what does he mean by went poorly? What did he do to that poor fish? I don't know. He he won't tell me. <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know if he's up to trying to fillet anything yet, but... Um, <laughs> If he doesn't want to make anything, uh, I'll make something. Um, but we could definitely bring these back. Hell yeah. You know, hmm. it, it's it's been real nice out um, out here. Mm hmm. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> thanks for... Thanks for inviting me. Um, of course. We all needed a bit of a break. Yeah, um... Not a moment too soon. Mm. Um... My, um... My team got um got a request um mm. to to look into something back in back in Okushima and um mm. uh, I I don't know when exactly we will but uh mm. we might end up going back to poke around see what the situation is but um mm. mm-hmm. you know well. Right. Well, we could do a little more digging into the mm, other situation. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um... This is, um, it's been some time. It's, uh, definitely, not. Definitely. It's not, um, uh, well, uh, Azumi's not, um, he's uh, improved a lot since then. Um, yeah. Oh. It's, uh, it, it's not so raw, uh, I don't think, um, going back there. It still might be a bit stressful, but, um, just worried about running into his senpai again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I think that's just the, the biggest thing. He's embarrassed. <laughs> um. Speaking of Zumi, though, um. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed him acting a little odd lately? Hmm. Have I? Hmm. I don't think so. Um, I, hmm, nothing comes to mind. Uh, odd in what way? Uh, I do not know how to put it into words. Ah. Um, he... Yamazaki is the only person he treats that way. Um, mm. Like you, you can just tell if you if you know him. Um, mm-hmm. But there was there there was something that happened a little bit ago. We were the three of us were hanging out, um, mm-hmm. and, and, and sh- 
it, it was oh this like, wasn't while you were handcuffed was it no okay i mean no <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh um i don't know there was there was just this like um this look he had on his face at one point and and it mm. wasn't the deep it wasn't the way he looks at her it, it's it was the way he looked he looks when he's trying to solve something oh Huh. Maybe he's trying to figure out what's troubling her? What? I mean, I, I know he's, I know she, he knows she's a gymnast, and I know mm -hmm. he knows that she's been having a bit of trouble, but like, it, it was kind of odd. And I, I don't know if it was her specifically, or if it was something else, but hmm. I kind of just happened to uh, to catch it, you know? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, you could, uh, I suppose we could ask him if, if he thinks there's something, um, odd going on. I mean, I did try to ask him, he, he just said that, like, he said something along the lines of not wanting to jump to conclusions without evidence. Mm -hmm. But it answered Sorry. none of my questions. No. That's such a detective thing. Just <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. You know what? It is a goddamn shame that detectives are associated with cops <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> i mean most of the good ones aren't anyway i mean yeah look at shirahada san mm. <laughs> completely avoiding suzumi <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I um, I don't know what to make of that. I I, I don't know either. Um, it was just kind of weird. I was wondering if you just saw anything similar happen since, but mm. kind of does a shrug. Um. Would you want me to, like, roll history or something? Uh, you can. Okay. Because I don't know, uh, if something did happen, I didn't register it. Um, let me see. If, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, mm. it, it, it that is such a good role. Holy shit, hang on. <laughs> um, if you don't have anything, that's also okay. I just... The, the issue is that uh, on screen, uh, hmm. he, he hasn't hung out with, with Yamazaki-san with near Professor a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Uh and we haven't made, like, any, like, establishments, like, um, we never established if they might have in the past before this, so I, I no, hesitate to, really. like, say too much. So it's, like, yeah. um, as far as Professor can remember, and you have been, like, on a good couple of cases with him, mm -hmm. most of the time he he did that expression that Arad is talking about, it was because there was a case on at hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not when you were you guys were just hanging out. Mm hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So he has he has some sort of insight into how he usually um, sort of gets in that kind of 
mindset, but he hasn't seen it with Yamazaki. No. Just because he hasn't been around her much. Yeah. <laughs> Which That's I'm like, fair. I want to use her more. Listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just, um, he thinks for a bit and then just shakes his head, shrugs a little. Um, I really just only seen him make the, just the, uh, expression you're describing while actively on a case. Okay. He just makes that noise again where he, like, pops out his cheeks and just... Mm -hmm. blows air so it does sound like at least he thinks there's go something going on but he doesn't want to say yet no that just makes me more worried mm. well he i hope he lets him lets us in on the loop sooner rather than later. Maybe we'll just have to bother him about it more. Yeah. <laughs> I found it pretty effective personally. <laughs> yeah, uh, you did it twice in one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no wonder he's rude to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't even on purpose. I didn't know he would show up the same day. I was expecting to have to give you a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> mm. Um, you know. Mm. Actually... Hmm. Mm. He, he does seem to trust you a, a lot. Um, hmm. And, um... I can't remember if Prof... I don't think Prof ever told Arata, like, the words that, like, the, 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 the memory Arata uh, told them about oh. Azumi trusting them very much. But, like, Arata's just, like, he, he does seem to trust you, uh, like, a lot. Um, and <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of glad that he has, you know, more people to depend on. Yeah. It's, it's good to have more people. I'm glad too. <laughs> For a long time, I think you were the only one. I was the only one. I am. Um... After after what happened in the. Um... With with uh with Endo, um mm. it's weird. Mm. You you think I, I, I don't know how to how to put it into words. It's it's like I don't know him but I do. I didn't know him, but I could predict his every, like, move. Mm. And 
and he seems to be able to do the same thing and it's and it's just like he'll set up something knowing exactly how I'm going to respond and I'll do mm -hmm. it and it's not like it's not in like a manipulative way it's more like we're just on that same level I don't mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had that with someone else Mm hmm You're, um, just sort of working on the same wavelength, even though you both think and act in very different ways, it's complementary somehow, I would yeah. You know each other so well that you can sort of weave things together. Yeah. You make a very good team. <laughs> I mean, we, we haven't worked together since um, he... Uh was trying to, you know, get me in prison mm -hmm. when it was trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. He... It, it was like, even back then, I knew exactly how he was going to follow up on, on certain things. Mm -hmm. There was there was this one point uh, when we were we were in that in that palace. Um, he he pulled something that was in hindsight absolutely amazing, and I still it still baffles me how he managed to pull it off um, hmm. in order to help us get along. But like at the time, I wasn't surprised. Hmm. Hmm. Just seemed like something that he would do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I know, I know what you mean. He kind of raises his brows at that. Not, um, uh, I mean, not with, uh, Azumi, I can't, I can predict him sometimes, but not, not like that. Um, no, uh, just, um, uh, uh, an old friend um, who maybe uh, friends did he try to kill you too? <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but I mean. I don't know. It, it that at least you didn't know each other that long, and you just sort of connected with me and him. It made sense. We were we were schoolmates, but best friends since we were children. Mm. We grew up together, and uh, even after I left Falagray. He was one of the few time stars who I would continue to see later for short amounts of time, granted, and with long spans of time in between, but... Hmm. But that, that sort of being able to predict each other's moves, uh, 
we were like that. It was frustrating um, being on the other side of that. Mm. Uh, mostly because, uh, generally speaking, we were on opposing sides, usually. I don't know. I, I guess it, it was just... Maybe it had something to do with the fact that we're both wild cards. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But, I mean, sometimes you just have Two people that just click. It's a shame he kept trying to kill me. <laughs> well, unfortunately, they, uh, even if you click with somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're, uh, um, good company. when you click with someone but it's in the most unhinged way possible. <laughs> Rada says that out loud. That was in character. Uh, yeah, Professor just kind of like uh, like rubs the back of his neck sheepishly. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh boy. We can't make jokes like that around. <laughs> he was gonna say it's like a real shadow and sunning dynamic. It's like, no. Oh my god. No. Shut up. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, you do, you never quite know when, how, how things like that are going to work out. I mean, you two were completely at odds and now you're friends and the maestro and I were friends and now we're at odds, I mean, if he's still around, when... Wait, he calls himself the maestro? Yeah. <laughs> Professor. It, it... Is he, like, okay? No. <laughs> no, he wants to, he wants to rule the universe. He's not okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, one of those. Wants to and thinks that he can. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it started out as just a, a kind of, like, ego trip and uh, bar thing. And just kind of, oh, God, he just kind of leaned bard. into it. Huh? Oh God, he's a bard? He was a bard, and then for a while he wasn't, and then he was again. Um, yeah, I, I don't... He likes being a bard, but he isn't always. Uh, he does switch around. I don't know what he... Do I know what he... Sorry, I'm like wondering if Arata, like, if... if... Arata knows that Professor was like a different class before. I don't, um, I don't know if that ever got brought up. It might not have been brought up around him. Yeah. Uh, like it logically makes sense, but also if you never thought about it before, like. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I, I think he was a bard the last I saw him. I think that's right. <laughs> Robbie can't just say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, try reeling the real world with music, I guess. Mm, you have no idea. Um, Please tell me I was wrong. Please. Do I Professor? That was a joke. <laughs> not... Not on the large scale, but on the small scale. I mean, controlling people. He's oh he's he's really good at at enchantment and charms and hypnotism. And and music's good for that sort of thing. And and you still call him? He's. I get why he's called the maestro now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's also going into cringe comp. No. It's some some kind of what brand of like best friends is this even? Just absolutely unhinged trying to kill you i think azumi also thought about poisoning me the other day <laughs> <laughs> because i was teasing him about yamazaki <laughs> oh but not like not like kill you poisoning but like give you really bad food poisoning poisoning <laughs> maybe Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't actually get poisoned, but I know he thought about it. He had that look, <laughs> Professor. Uh. Oh, uh, well. Uh. You know, with friends like these, who needs enemies? I guess. Uh. uh. I'm glad the two of you have worked something out. <laughs> I hope you can work something out with, um, he makes like a dramatic gesture <laughs> and he's just like, the maestro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps if he, uh, turns up again, um, he might, uh, be done. Um, not sure. Professor, uh, I don't know if this is just because I've lived in Einquil for so for as long as I have by now. Oh, that's but, what Tome and Moria said. But like, he, with a name like the Maestro, I feel like he is he is bound to make a dramatic re-entrance at some point. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. He's certainly made plenty before. I just, I don't know how, uh, because he's out of regenerations. But, I mean, again, it's him, though, so if somebody were to find a way, it would be him. I just don't, uh... That's a funny thing to ask, Karana, hang on. If he ever turns up again, can I throw rocks at him? Yes. <laughs> yes! Pulse of this. You may throw rocks at him. <laughs> I, I haven't even met him, and he sounds like a pretentious asshole. Mm hmm. He is, usually. <laughs> and when he's not, it's because he's putting on an act. Terrifying. I mm. I hate that how that sounds like Azumi though. <laughs> like can I say uh, that? I I I hate that. I'm going to be real. 
you you can i uh honestly a while ago before azumi um uh went sort of through some things and got some uh issues worked out i uh he did remind me of the maestro a little bit and that worried me because i didn't want him to turn out like that But he's he's not like that anymore. Yeah. There's there's lines that he hasn't crossed that the maestro crossed ages ago. Mm. I mean He's he's doing a lot better. I like anybody mm -hmm. can tell that. Um, mm -hmm. Now instead of throwing things at me, when he gets angry, he kind of just goes um, goes off to uh, into remembrance and and, and fights. Just kind of destroys enemies there to a lot of <laughs> steam, but oh huh. yeah. What what's in the remembrance to? Um, fight? He like, brings his hands together. <laughs> like, just, I don't know, bad thoughts and feelings? Um, sort? I, I, I mean, I guess that, that's one way to put Okay. <laughs> so, you you know the collective unconscious. Um, you know yeah. how uh, there are, like, ideas, like, different different uh things and and like that just keep showing up uh across mm -hmm. cultures that like have right. not like connected with each other they have not met or anything um mm. there are like these concepts like monsters and stuff in folklore um oh absolutely i it, it is it is do, do you know halloween exists on darth and uh zatori yeah uh it's like I mean, that sort I, of thing. I well, I didn't know that, but like it, it's it's like that. Um, it's like that. They've um, not interacted, but they have a festival about monsters and dressing up in sweets. Yeah, yeah, uh, and and the the whole thing with like the hero's journey that's always mm. been a thing long before it had a name. Mm -hmm. Um, but like um, that also applies to like certain like monsters and stuff mm. and but also like aspects of the self and stuff sometimes mm. they try to manifest in ways uh -huh. uh, that aren't very um i guess you could say coherent mm. um mm. we still call them shadows but they're not exactly like shadow shadows but um mm -hmm. the, the formal idea of the shadow yeah uh but like they, they they still have that vibe because they originate in from you know the people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sort of uh scraps cobbling themselves together yeah they're kind of terrifying to look at Mm. Most most of the time, they don't really um, look the same mm -hmm. uh, when you're looking at them. Kind of a uh, it's it's very difficult to ha for an idea to have physical form when it's not entirely sure what it's going to be. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But like um. It's it's kind of like that. We got stuff like that to 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 watch out for in remembrance and um, huh. 
and the Paraverse in general. Mm -hmm. Because they can show up in palaces. Uh, But not, like, separate from the palace. It's, It's like, um... Well, I imagine if they show up in a palace, they're related to the issues going on there, right? Something like that. Um, they tend to act like palace guards, so to speak, mm. with the, the, the palace ruler's shadow being the ruler, you know? They're, mm. they're like... Instead of being aimless. Yeah. Oh. That makes a strange sort of sense. I mean, I'll, I'll take shambling masses of incoherence over a guy calling, um, a giant monster calling, uh, the mafia boss, uh, Lord? Uh. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the one in remembrance don't talk mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeesh. laughs> genie's also handing me words i'm trying to figure out what they are <laughs> okay he's probably like chilling and vibing from where he is um mm-hmm. On the blanket. Getting dry in the sun. Yeah. Sunbathing, you know how it is. Yeah. Um, he, he's just kind of like, well, even then, you can still tell a lot about a palace ruler uh, just from the uh, shadow guards. Oh? It, well, how they talk about their, uh, the palace ruler really does give credence to how, what kind of distortion they have. Hmm. So you know what you're dealing with if you know the the guards. Hmm. Oh, that's that's good. That uh probably a useful bit of um I don't know, scouting. Uh there's a lot that goes into a uh spirit grow case. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it. No, it's, um, <clears throat> he kind of, he kind of does a shrug and he does, um, There hasn't been a, a lot of, like, palaces in Einquell. Um, and as far as we know, there hasn't been any palaces since I left Yeddo. Um, hmm. But most of oh. the uh, jobs I've been taking in, up in Einquell have been just, like, small-time stuff. Mm-hmm. Just, like... Um, petty things, you know, like, petty, petty crimes, Mm -hmm. stuff like that, um, that, uh, stopping it in the tracks, in the Paraverse before, that, that stops them from turning into, like, a full-blown palace. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It, uh, Bit odd that there haven't been any in Yeno since you left, since it, the frequency seemed to just kind of drop off. But yeah. maybe that has something to do with uh, the sort of strangeness in general of uh, wish fulfillment and. It's. It's weird. Hmm. Oh, I'll give you that, cause they, they, it's, it's, um, when, when we were, you know, starting up and forming, they kind of just happened with, like, 
frequency. Like, like you said, it was, they happened, we happened to come across them pretty often, but like, Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. In, in, in Einquil, I've only come across like two so far. Mm -hmm. Um, But um, after Endos, it wasn't really palaces per se. Um, mm. But uh, that that was a whole different sort of can of worms. Different, mm. different uh, disturbances. Um, oh, there was um. Oh, what was her name? Um, the the. Um, android last Isabella. Um, Isabella, that's right. That that wasn't um, the, the 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 sort of um, case, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, that she was uh, related to. That that wasn't a palace. It was something else. No, it was um, uh. I remember some of the details, but you, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to put this into words. Um, sometimes when you give artificial intelligence some information, it's it kind of does. I'm not sure if I can put this into words. It's a long story. Mm-hmm. And trying to summarize it is difficult, but the... that's fine. Uh, there was there was this um, there was this tech company um, mm-hmm. in in Yeda. They made this uh, this um, I guess you could could say some sort of artificial intelligent um, assistant was part of a device. Um, mm. It sold really well in Yeddo. Mm-hmm. Um, turns out the company that uh was producing it fed information about cognitive science to uh, uh, the ai right and that's how it was able to do certain things yeah i remember that um but like what ended up happening wasn't palaces mm-hmm but like it was more like we ended up calling them jails, oh. um, because that's kind of how they operated. They were um, mm. in 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 a palace. The shadow is is a ruler. In a mm-hmm. jail, they were trapped. Yes, but they didn't think of themselves as trapped. Uh, it was like um, they got so um, attached to the power that this AI, w- it was called uh, Anna at the time. Mm. Um, they got so attached to the power that this AI gave them over people whose desires got stolen. Mm. That whenever they tried to like step away from it, the AI would use some form of their trauma mm. to force them to grip onto that power even more. Uh huh. Mm. Which, um. It's, it's, uh. a lot different than, than palaces because, um. They're not formed naturally, and they're mm-hmm. a lot bigger. Um, mm-hmm. um, the The first one, the first palace we we came across was just a castle that that took the place of the school in reality. Um, mm-hmm. The first jail, uh, I want to say it was the entirety of the Shibusawa district 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Mm. They, With... they, they get really big. Wow. Um, and their enemies... The enemies there... Um, instead of just being like one or two that are just really strong, they just tend to show up in swarms. Ah. Uh. But they're easier to take down. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing was that, um, even if you get the, the jail monarchs to, to have a change of heart, the jail doesn't go away. Oh. That's not like a palace. Mm -hmm. and, and we think that's because it's just le leftover data from the AI. Mm hmm Do they go away eventually? Just sort of break down naturally, or I mean, I I don't know how computer data works. That was more of Ichika's thing. I would assume after a long enough time, it, they would. Otherwise, I yes, mm -hmm. the only way you would would be to like get it into Shut the, it down. yeah, get into the system and and like delete it and everything. But um. Ever since, huh. uh, even with uh, Anna uh, shut down, mm -hmm. um, there ha still have been some leftover jails. Mm. Not so much that like they've been able to like s spread. We just haven't come across all of them yet. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. It, it's it's funny. Isabella says they have like a very specific scent, huh. uh, but um, she she's a I, I don't know how she picks up on it. She's she's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she might she might just be um, y using the word as a sort of stand-in for uh, a sort of sense that. Um, there just isn't a word in uh, in Yiddish for or common. Um, I've done something similar on occasion when trying to describe um, uh, various sort of aspects of the time sense. Um, it's not really smelling it or seeing it or feeling it, but those are the words we have. Yeah, I mean, jumping to the next, like, best descriptor was probably the, um, the easiest way for her to describe it. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> before she had that, um, android body, um, she mm. was kind of like an image on the screen of that, um, one of the devices that Anna was sold on. Mm. Um... But whatever she picked up on that scent, she would actually sniff. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if that was just her trying to be more personable or if she was actually smelling something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm. It is always very interesting to. Uh, to see how um, uh, androids and Warforged and the like um, uh, both do and don't uh, pick up on the habits of um, the living beings around them. Oh, yeah. I mean... Mannerisms, all of that. She she's an android um, in 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 a material plane, uh, but in the mm -hmm. Paraverse, she does have a more I guess you could say organic body. She's she's a lot more physical than like mm. just being a person on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, there was this one time um, uh, because we were on a road trip at the time. Uh, there was this one time uh, we ended up getting food from a, a takoyaki stand. 
Mm. Um, and she really wanted to try it. So what ended up happening was we saved some of the takoyaki for her. And we took it mm-hmm. to the Paraverse to see if she would try it. <laughs> and she ate it. And then she said, I don't have taste buds. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's always something. <laughs> can you make a robot that tastes? <laughs> you can, technically, but um, it's extremely difficult, and there's not a lot of point, usually, uh, unless you need something to... Unless there's a real need for it. Um, it's It's not... Otherwise, it's kind of more hassle than it's worth, because really what they're actually doing is just sort of chemically sampling uh, a substance. (laughs) Which is kind of technically what we do as well, but they have to do it a different sort of mechanical, chemical way. I mean, well, it's a... Do you see where... (laughs) No, I... I feel like I just asked a question that would lead into a rabbit hole. I'm cool to backtrack. Uh (laughs) Yeah. Yes, you can, but it's it's, uh, kind of a hassle. I would have accepted that as an answer. (laughs) (laughs) I think if you told Ichika, she might take it as a challenge. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, perhaps. <laughs> I mean, well, there's no harm in just, um... Well, something like this is not going to be harmful anyway, but no harm in uh, making... Mm, a prototype, a single model that can do it. I mean, it'll still be a hassle, but it won't be as much as trying to make it something more mm, mainstream. Uh, if you try to mass produce it. <laughs> That's, that feel like, it feels like such a weird thing to like mass produce and sell, like a, a robot that tastes. You see, there, there you go. What, why? What, what would be the reason? <laughs> I feel like Ichika would just do it for Isabella, is the thing. Mm-hmm. She did make those blueprints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But even then... <laughs> Maybe... Mm-hmm. Maybe you could get something basic, uh, something, uh, I don't know, giving a a sort of um, a sense of uh, pH wouldn't be too difficult. Um, You'd know the difference between something acidic and uh, caustic. Yeah. And something more neutral, like water. Yeah. It's not taste exactly but it's it's part of the data that we call taste just one piece of it mm-hmm. is it isn't it like uh things that are more basic tend to be a bit more bitter and and mm. acidic tends to be more sour and that's why citrus are like that yeah exactly precisely uh, lemons have a very, uh, lemons and things like lemons are, have a very, uh, low pH and are quite acidic. Um, typically those are citric, uh, those, the, the, the specific, specific acid at work there is citric acid, mm. named because of the fruit. Um, whereas something more basic, uh, I don't know, we have have a lot of terribly basic foods. Uh... The only only thing that comes to mind is milk. I don't know if that's like... Hmm. Does that count? (laughs) Uh... Not sure. (laughs) Hmm. 
is the pH of I feel like I'm... now is the time to like to, to like put it out there. Mm-hmm. Arata did graduate uh his high school up top of his class. Hell yeah. Hey, you wanna roll um because <laughs> I just did a Google search, do you wanna roll <laughs> uh history or intelligence or something for Arata. Yeah, I'll just roll, I guess, a history. To see if he remembers. (laughs) Remembers a few things from chemistry class. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oh, you don't have proficiency in that. That's fair. 18. Oh, 18? Yeah. Um, You actually, you know that um... Uh, you know that milk is actually slightly acidic, weirdly. <laughs> just, just so. Arata voice, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Retracting that. I mm-hmm. think milk's like just a little bit on the acidic end. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't know how I remember that from class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go- I'm gonna be real, professor. I ended up learning a lot of weird things a- at my high school that didn't have anything to do with the class I was in. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, pineapple? Is pineapple basic? Hello? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I trust this source that I'm looking at. <laughs> Alright, let me look. Pineapple is very acidic. What? That's not- <laughs> that's the opposite! Hello? What? Uh, Which one is it? <laughs> some vegetable. Look. Oh, s- despite having a low pH, it has an alkalizing effect on the body. Interesting. I can't believe we went on this tangent. <laughs> Sheesh, man. <laughs> man. Rod of voice can unaware that he's about to open a, a can of worms. Can you make a robot taste? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll ask Isabella. Maybe maybe I'll ask her if she wants to be able to taste. Mm, I feel like she's idea. going to say yes because she knows I cook, but... <laughs> hmm. uh, a very good reason to want the sense of taste, I think. It's a definitely very uh, compelling argument. Flattery. <laughs> My weakness. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe... <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show off your skill by uh, hmm, stepping in if Azumi um, starts to ruin the fish. <laughs> God, you know, you know, uh, I was there when he burned the hash browns. Oh. <laughs> Well... He struggles so hard. And for what? <laughs> <laughs> At least he's trying. At least he's trying. <laughs> I am so proud of him that he managed to get omelets for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Somehow. It took several attempts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just those dang hash browns, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
Mm. I feel like I should roll like one more survival with the fish. Oh yeah, <laughs> I sure. Think it would be really funny. What? What happened? Uh, I got another nat twenty. He did the exact same thing at the last oh, time they fished together. Oh my Meanwhile, goodness! Erotic got a one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I think something like ate the the like yeah. just straight up like a uh, bit off the end of the line, and you just have a frayed string. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was about to say, like, I think the line just fucking snaps. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of looks at it, and he's just like. Fuck. <laughs> uh, might have had a shark there. We, um, if we were, now for something like that, you'd want to have a bite resistant line, but I don't think we were expecting anything quite that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know there were sharks here. Oh, wait. Hmm. Well, well, if we get a better look at the shark, remind me to grab a picture so I can show Camille. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah not 20 so uh professor professor manages to land uh another very impressive fish um but you guys already have like two so i think he's gonna let it let it go the rod applauds there's a uh meow. From from Genie, <laughs> he, he lets like Genie take a, a, a sniff of it um, <laughs> before he just sort of like just sort of like heave ho like underhand like tosses the fish way back into the water. <laughs> oh my God, that's so <laughs> that really is just Professor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Genie Genie is like kind of like I think by now he's probably dry he's fine he's, he's mm -hmm. giving me like just kind of walking up and down the 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 shore kind of like putting his paws in the water you know like how mm -hmm. cats do when they're curious yeah. about something just, yeah just test it yeah <laughs> hmm <laughs> hmm I am kind yep. of disappointed about this, and he just kind of just like playfully holds up the the bitten off end of the oh. of the line. <laughs> That's all right. It happens. <laughs> but that's a uh, probably a sign that we should. Um... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> start packing up. I guess. Mm hmm. Well, I don't have a lot of, like, um, I can't think of, like, any other, like, conversation bits, uh, so we could, uh, we could leave them there with yeah. some nice fish to bring back to the gang. Yeah. He's yeah. he gonna try cooking, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, he, he may not have known that that's how he was gonna spend his evening, but it is now. <laughs> popular demand hang on <laughs> he rolled pretty well for that in the future tonight <laughs> all right 19 on the dice <laughs> Ooh, very nice awesome yeah all right well that will hmm, excuse me do it for us um and uh thank you for playing with me avi Thank you so much for playing with me. I'm glad we could have these two uh, catch up. Yeah. Have a nice time. Yeah. Uh, and thank you, audience, uh, present and future, for listening. We will bid you a good time zone. Bye. Bye.